and I'm back for another read aloud. Today we're going to be reading Jack's Garden by Henry Cole. And this story is about a boy named Jack who decides to grow a garden and all the steps he takes for his garden to grow. This is the garden that Jack planted. And as you can see, there are so many different gardening tools that Jack will need. He has a garden claw and pruning shears. He has a trowel and a rake, and he has a hose. Jack also has a shovel and a hoe and a watering can. This is the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. And in the soil, there are so many different things. There are earthworms and slugs. There are beetles. There are also some beetle larvae and slug eggs. There's some cicadas and cicada larvae. So all sorts of things are in the soil. These are the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. And there are all sorts of seeds. There are lupin seeds and diantha seeds. There are hollyhock seeds and poppy seeds. There are also sunflower seeds and milkweed seeds. This is the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. These are the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So you can see the roots and then the stems and the seed leaves. You can also see some centipedes and millipedes. There are germinating seeds. So there's the seeds grow, it turns into the seed leaves and the adult leaves and there's also the roots and there's a really really nice robin eating a worm these are the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that jack planted so there are all sorts of plants there are there's bee palm and allium and hollyhock. You can also see some other creatures. There are some different kinds of spiders and some lace wings. You can also see some other insects as well, like fireflies and, and even a garden snake. There's spiderwort and columbine. These are the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So you can see so many of the beautiful buds. There are buttercup and fire glove. And there are also different kinds of beetles. There are also some poppy buds and some milkweed buds, and even more different kinds of beetles. These are the flowers that blossom from the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So there's so many beautiful flowers. There are black-eyed Susans, there are clovers, there are lupin flowers and asters. There are also some yarrow and daisies and spiderwort, all sorts of beautiful flowers.
These are the insects that sipped nectar from the flowers that blossomed from the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. You can see all the beautiful insects. There are butterflies and milkweed bugs. There are also some beetles. You can also see some metallic bees and even more different kinds of butterflies. <laughs> These are the birds that chase the insects that sip nectar from the flowers that blossom from the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings and sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. And as you can see, there are so many different kinds of birds. They're all part of the garden. And this is the garden that Jack planted. And it looks so beautiful. There are so many different things in the garden. There's morning glory and different kinds of birds and even some hummingbirds. And you can see Jack in his happy place in the garden. I hope you enjoyed my reading of Jack's garden. Look for more cooking videos and read alouds from me very soon. Bye everyone.